It's Judy here. I know this is rare. I have to get to work pretty soon, but I, I hardly slept. And um, I just, God wants to deliver another message. And, um, whew. Um, okay. This is something that <clears throat> when God first fell on my son, he told him over. <sighs> And over and over and over again. And I just feel like it needs to be repeated now here before the elections because I think there's fear. And I think that people um, the, actually believe that the devil can do something while the bride is here. Um, you guys, catastrophe and wide, wide riots and outbreaks and major... Hell cannot break loose while the bride is still here. And for this election to cause America to riot would be major hell. I mean, listen, so far what's been going on in the world has been par for the core course. Okay, a lot of people are like, well, no, it's still, there's always been trouble in the eastern countries. There's always been, it's just continuing. Okay, and for America to see like, mass trouble is just it's not normal for this country um you know eh. what i'm saying is this country was built and founded on you know people wanting to worship god okay and god bless this nation so he's going to continue to bless this nation while the bride is still here you have to understand the roots of our nation. They're not teaching it in the history books anymore. Um, and yes, there's been a lot of evil since the beginning and the, with the Illuminati in the founding of this nation. But right alongside that has been the Lord Jesus Christ. People seem to forget that right <clears throat> God is the one that built this nation. Okay, yeah, the enemy, this, the Lord, until the Lord comes and makes everything new, the earth is the enemy's ground. I mean, he's been able to do what he wants to do. He is limited in his ability because of God's spirit and God's people. Okay, so if you're getting worried right now, I just want to comfort and encourage you, Bri. I actually had a few thoughts come up too. Like, God, should I not go to work that day? Should we lock our doors, you know? And I, I silly me, he's like, what are you talking about? You're still here. None of the things that the New World Order has planned. He told me it was the New World Disorder. It was so funny. Um, he said none of the things that the New World Disorder has planned can actually happen. That's why Satan's in a big tizzy. <clears throat> it cannot happen while the bride is still here. And I'm specifically speaking for the entire world. But I'm also speaking for America too. Okay, when he fell on my son, he spoke to the globe, and he also s had specific um, promises to America, like America's not getting nuked while we're here. The big earthquakes and judgment that is coming to America is not going to happen while the bride is here. So for people who are wondering if should they stock up and they're afraid, I just want to encourage you, because God wants to encourage you, that you know we had a gift of a 10-year-old prophet tell us all kinds of things, and I just want to reiterate you do not need to worry. You do not need to have fear. You do not, things um, are not going to break out until we leave. Yes, there's little things happening here and there. There's always been. The things that have been, you know, evil has been going on forever. It's going to continue and it's going to get worse. But, you know, this mass stuff that people are seeing, it's not while the bride is here. I'm not sure if you guys recognize what a powerful force that we are. I really think people don't recognize that. You know, I really didn't until the Lord showed me. So, you know, I'm telling you, I, I, we are literally peacekeepers of this globe. This is the reason why we, we're not seeing catastrophic, apocalyptic death. The New World Order, Satan and his minions have been wanting to do this way before the bride leaves. They, they are itching. Look at on the news. Look at it. They're itching to just kill, kill, kill and start riots and trouble and all this ridiculous stuff and it doesn't get to happen yet but there's it's gonna look like it's gonna gonna happen oh you know this is 
Mm -mm. Even in Italy, look, the Lord allowed the quakes. Whether he allowed CERN to do it or whatever, but the Lord only allowed so much. Look how he didn't let people die. See what I'm saying? He's waking people up. He's rumbling. Believe me, after the bride leaves, when the earthquakes happen, you're going to die. It's not going to be like it is now, where we see these big quakes and we see minimal death compared to what really should occur. Okay? All over. Um, there is a destiny on the United States of America. God loves the whole country. He loves the entire world. But I'm speaking right now for America because I live here and, and we got specific prophecies for America. He loves this country. Okay? And um, Satan wants to destroy it and he gets to destroy it. But he doesn't get it until after the bride leaves. I'm not sure if you guys recognize what a powerful force we are. We are are the source of peace and this earth right now we are the salt so we are holding back the dams of hell we're holding back the hoover dam we're holding back the tsunamis we're holding back everything people are always like you're in california i can't believe you're still there oh silly goose i'm the one that's keeping the big from california from falling into the ocean didn't you know that that's why god put me here i'm i'm the one that's sitting here God, I'm God's hand of mercy right now in California. So it's all good, okay? It's all good. But when he takes this bride, this remnant of bride that is here on this earth, all over the world, that is when permission is given on the fourth day after the worldwide rapture for judgment to begin, okay? So I just wanted, if anyone was worried, about the elections and the outcome. Oh, there's going to be riots if this person wins. Oh, there's going to be riots if this person wins. You guys, there's always going to be trouble. There's going to be outbreaks here and there. But nothing where everybody has to, you know, flee to the hills. Nothing where there's going to be major stuff where it's going to disrupt your day-to-day -day life. Really, you're going to, because the bride is still here, you're going to keep carrying on. As in the days of Noah, eating, drinking, marrying, you know, going to work, blah, blah, blah. It's a regular day, and then the Lord comes. It's not a regular day if this nation, entire nation, breaks out in riots on November 8th, okay? <laughs> That's not a regular day. It's, it's, and you know what? Don't use the example of other nations and countries, what's going on, because these other countries have been like this for many years. The United States of America has lived and benefited because we've been a nation under God. And we're going to continue to be that way because there's a few of us called the Bride of Christ that still represent a nation under God, okay? So yes, the laws are horrible. Yes, there's all kinds of evil going on, but I didn't make that happen. That's not on my hands. I'm the one keeping the judgment right now. You can thank me. You can thank the Bride of Christ. And they will one day. They'll be like, thank you so much. But and we don't want the thanks, but I'm just saying you can thank the bride for loving God because our love for him is holding back his judgment. And it's called an extension of mercy and grace. And we are living in that extension period of mercy and grace, but it is coming to a close. I, I made a video yesterday. I read my friend's email. Very good, very good summary. As he, he calls it the Jonah pattern just brilliant and he's going to probably give me some more that I can read but he's getting major revelation on the season we're in and he's so excited and I'm telling you but it's about to end it's just while we're here it's going to be okay okay so yes I'm going to go to work if we're here on November 8th everything's going to carry on I'm not going to get shot in the head because I look white you know <laughs> and even though I'm Native American and, 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 and Spanish and Irish and Swedish, but, you know, the New World Order is making everyone hate. And there's ignorance and stupidity out there. They don't really understand that America is a nation of immigrants and most people here are, you know, they're just pitting races against races. And it's just pure ignorance. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, and um, anyway, guys... Um, Take, take rest and take peace and take heart that um, the plans of destruction, the plans of mayhem, the plans of that they're trying to put forth um, 
just don't get to happen. As much as I would love something to happen, because <laughs> I mean, it's like, come Lord. It's not. We're here. It's going to carry on. We're going on a regular day, eating, drinking, marrying. And then as soon as we go on that regular day, which these regular days are coming to an end. Rejoice. They're coming to an end. Um, Because he could come and take us before. We could come. We could. We could be leaving before the election. Okay. So then in that case, then there would be crazy stuff going on, okay? <laughs> but I, this is a specific message to the bride not to be worried, okay? God loves you. He loves your family. In the United States of America, Jesus, I'm sorry, Father God, not Jesus. He's, he's so ready to take us, but Father God has a big tear rolling down his cheek that's for this, in this season for this nation because this is the first nation slated for major judgment after the bride leaves. It's going down in flames first and his tear rolls. Okay. Um, but if you think that any of this gets to happen before the bride leaves, you just don't, you just don't know how important you are. And, um, ask God to give you a revelation of, of your importance Christ in you is the salt on this earth, bride. We're holding back the gates of hell by just waking up and breathing. Our very presence is God's presence and God's extension of mercy to a lost and dying globe. And I'm making this video, though, specifically regarding the elections in America. So rejoice. Just keep buying your food, going to the grocery store, taking your kids to school, watching your YouTube videos, you know, hanging out with your daddy, taking your dog for a walk. Carry on, carry on, carry on. But one of these hours of the day, maybe it's today, in a blink of an eye, poof, we're going to be gone. And all these visions that people are having that I don't doubt are real, many of them. They're going to happen. Tsunami, martial law, earthquakes, nuclear war. I've, we've seen it all too. It's going to happen. Just not while we're here. I love you. <laughs>